pequeñitos, pero sí que es verdad que a lo mejor se sentía un poco abuelo al lado de ellos. Dicen que son muy pequeñitos todos. Ya. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Uh, thank you. Hello. I, I hear an accent. <laughs> your, your English is fine. It's your you. accent, you have to apologize. <laughs> you know what's horrible? The people that are watching this on uh, online, if they come in late and they go like, what? This guy is horrible. If you have an accent at home, you should be saying sorry too. Um, okay, sorry, yes. Apology accepted. I want to ask you a question about Claire Hall. <laughs> yes. And, uh, well, we know uh, Claire as an uh, actress or artist, but you know her as the girl sis. So I want to know uh, what uh, do you like about her personality? <laughs> Claire is beautiful. Claire is yes. beautiful. She's. Yeah. The thing I like about her is, this is the thing I like most about her, and I'll just say this because I don't want to get too personal, but because she's beautiful and I love her, but she does good and she'll do really good things for other people, which has nothing to do with herself, but she's not one of those people that has to go and tell everybody she's done something good. She just does it. And she never goes after the, hey, guess what I just did? I just went to an orphanage and helped all these kids and did all this stuff. I'm, I'm a great person. Love me, love me. You know, she's not like that. And I really, really, really respect that. Because her intention is just to do good, not to get the glory. And that's the why. When I, when I, heard, like, I just think she's amazing when she's like that. Uh, this beautiful girl. And I think she's an extremely talented actress and she'll have a lot of success in this business. Thank you. And, and it's so sister. annoying she played my sister. Can't kiss your sister. Un momento. Eh, dice que está hablando, está hablando de Claire de, y de, 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 dice que es una, aparte de muy guapa y de ser una fantástica mujer, que lo que le gusta más es que es de esas personas que va y hace algo bueno por otra gente y no... Uh, después no va diciéndolo por ahí, ¿no? Simplemente lo hace porque quiere hacerlo y no, y no, no lo dice más. Y que dice que es una pena que, que fuera su hermana, porque no puedes pensar a tu hermana. Y mi segunda pregunta es, ¿cómo fue tu experiencia? Lo sé. ¡Oh! Si puedes preguntar dos preguntas, debes haber apologizado dos veces por tu acento. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what's your question? Um, how was your experience with Bring Me Liars? It was good. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was very easy. It was very easy. It wasn't, I didn't have to kill anyone. Uh, I didn't have to scare anyone. I didn't have to be brooding. I just, uh, and, you know, and I got to speak with an American accent, which is always good. Um, it was funny, you know, uh, so playing Dean. Uh, and speaking with an American accent, at the, uh, a lot of people on Twitter would be like, I really, really liked your character, uh, I really liked, uh, you know, you were Pretty Little Liars, but I miss your accent. And you're like, oh, you know how it is to do an accent and be believable, I miss you. But I love my accent, so I'm just like, maybe I should have never had an accent. I have to apologize for my accent at that point. Thank you. <laughs> so, so, thank you, darling. Estaba dando de su papel en Three Liars y dijo, dice que lo que más le gustaba era, era tener el acento americano, ¿no? Pero que a veces en Twitter le decían que eh, echaban de menos su acento de verdad. Hola, mi nombre es Emma. Quiero preguntarte por ti. Perdón por mi acento. Y me gustó tu carácter y te conoces demasiado. I want to ask you if you come back to the regionals or something. I would like to, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But there's always hope, right? There's always hope. So who knows? Um, it would be great to come back and, and, and you know, really, again, uh, I guess I'll use this opportunity to thank all the fans that have been really, really supportive and passionate 
about bringing Cole back because uh, your voices get heard often and uh, you know it's amazing to see that this small group of individuals who just love this character keep pushing and you know hopefully you'll win that fight. Uh, you think I can tell me encantaría volver y que ya, aprovecha este momento para agradecer a todos los equipos que se han hecho de gente que hace campaña para que vuelva y, y, que, y que vamos que, 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 aunque no lo penséis que muchas veces sí que se oye y que espera que se os oiga de verdad Thank you, Dad. Thank you so much, I love you Thank you for apologizing for your accent, I appreciate it Thank you, next question Two more questions and we're finished Okay, four more questions What are you going to do? Keep me on stage? Hi, Nate. Sorry for my accent. Thank you. Thank you for doing that just without asking. Gosh, it's so my difficult. Name is Sandra, and I'm from Portugal. Ah, and my question is, do you think that Cole is going to be a good uncle for Hope? If you return to Brazil. I hope so. I don't know. I think maybe he would. Maybe he would change it. Maybe you'll see a softer side of Cole with children. You know? Maybe that's the thing. Maybe he's good with kids. Bad with adults. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Okay, that's thanks. a Julie Plate question. Okay, okay. Mejor, dice que a lo mejor sí que con los adultos no es muy bueno, pero a lo mejor con los niños sí. Three more questions. Hey. Yes, sure. My name is Sofia. I'm also from Portugal. And I Do you know the girl that was before you? Was it just yeah. a coincidence that you're both from Portugal? Yeah. No, we're best friends. Who loves me? Ah! Okay, well, um, when I get to Portugal and I go through customs, if I have any problems, I'm going to be bringing that up. <laughs> Sorry, sir, your passport doesn't seem to allow you access into this country. Well, hang on a second. I was at a convention and someone told me Portugal loves me. <laughs> so what is going on now? Okay, so, yes, question, question, question. Yes. Uh, what was your, the best experience you've ever had with a fan? Best experience I've ever had with a fan? I've had lots of really great experiences. I think the ones that really, really touch me is when you are, uh, when you have people that you uh, can influence in a positive way. And, and, and you know, uh, this weekend isn't about us, really. It's actually got nothing to do with us. It's about you guys having something special this weekend and that you take something from this weekend and you go on and you do something better in your own lives. Because this weekend is just two days, yeah? But what's important is that you get inspired or you get encouraged and you do something great with your life after this. And I would love to think that we can be some sort of example or some sort of spark underneath you that encourages you to do something more, better, you know, greater. And that's what, I, that's what I would really hope for this weekend. I've got no more time, so I'm going to finish up, yeah? yeah. I want to finish up. Well, you want to go talk first, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, dice que, dice que este, este fin de semana uh, no, es, no, es, no es sobre ellos, ¿no? Que va sobre vosotros, ¿no? Sobre la capacidad que tenéis vosotros de sacar de, de esta experiencia algo mejor, algo que más tenga, algo que, que vaya más allá de este fin de semana y que podáis juntaros y hacer cosas, ¿no? Y que eso es lo que él espera que pueda pasar. Ok. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just talk for two minutes, three minutes. I won't have no more questions unless you've got a really short question like, am I good? Yes. Um, is that cool? Unless you're really upset and you're not getting a question, I'll do one. Is that okay? It's cool? They're good. We're good. We're all good. Okay, this is what I want to say, guys, because I've only got one Q&A with you guys, and I'm talking with Ian a little bit later, and then I leave tomorrow. So I want to I leave you with something um, that I sort of decided to start doing. Um, what I realized uh, a lot when you meet and talk to people is we all go through troubles and tough times, you know? Anybody had a, a really tough day in the last week? ¿Quién ha tenido algún mal día esta última semana? Keep your hand up. Keep your hand up. Okay? What about in the last month? En el último mes? Something tough. You're going through something that's really tough. Algo que realmente sea duro. Okay, what about the last year? El último año. The last five years? Los cinco años. So look, there's a lot of hands, right? We all go through troubles, yeah? We're all struggling with something. I am struggling with things.
that people will probably never see, and I, I struggle with them a lot. You know, we all have our problems. But you've got to start learning to start looking at the good and start building yourself up. So what I decided to do, right, as people start to leave, um, <laughs> what I decided to do, right, is every afternoon now when the sun is setting, I spend half an hour, half an hour, watching the sun set, right? And I use that time to not think about my problems, to not think about the things that I failed in, or how far I'm away from achieving something, but just to be grateful <coughs> that because I can see the sun set, that I lived another day. Yeah? yeah. And it's, Yo voy a decir la parte de la Dice que, eh, bueno, que, que últimamente lo que está haciendo es que es verdad que todos tenemos malos momentos, malos días y tenemos, todos tenemos nuestros problemas. Y dice que ahora lo que está haciendo en el, el último mes, y desde hace, un, desde hace un mes, es que se va cuando va a ponerse el sol y se pone a mirar el sol y ve cómo va y se pasa media hora, media hora pensando sobre realmente lo bueno que tiene en su vida e intentar no pensar en lo, lo que no tenemos o lo que me falta en mi vida, uh, simplemente lo bueno que tenemos y, y sobre todo el pensar que estar viendo una puesta de sol es estar viviendo un día más. I would really like to challenge everybody. You'll start seeing on my Instagram that I'll start doing lots of sunsets because every afternoon I'm going to be watching sunsets. And I challenge you to try and do something like that every single day. Remind yourself that no matter what the situation is, you're alive and you've got hope. Right? And just the fact that I can watch the sun go down, I should be grateful. If I've got nothing else to be grateful for, at least I've got that. Right? And when you start thinking like that, right? You will be able to do more things because it doesn't matter if you win, lose, fail, because you're just here for the experience of life. All right? And I tweeted recently, right? Life is just an experience. I'm not here to be the best, and I'm not here to be the happiest. I'm just here for the experience, good or bad. And at the end of that experience, I will bid you farewell. But that's all it is, an experience. And you watch that sun, and you're like, I'm here and I'm experiencing it. And that will remind you that to be grateful for less, you will be happier, you'll be happier. And that's what I think is really, really important. Don't get sucked into the world saying, well, you don't have what these people have, so you shouldn't be happy. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Básicamente es que os centréis en lo bueno que tenéis en la vida, que un, una puesta de sol puede, puede llenarte mucho más que cualquier cosa material y que realmente darse cuenta de que uh, vivir en, en, en el momento y ser uno mismo y no preocuparse de lo que tiene el resto o lo que me falta es simplemente vivir así, es mucho mejor. Y si lo conseguís, uh, seréis mucho más felices. That is it, guys. Um, thank you so much for your love and your passion. I only hope that when I come back, if I come back next year and I see you guys again, you have a great story to share with me. And I would be so happy to hear it. Okay? Thank you so much.